Today, half of all retail purchases in the UK are made by card, and cards account for more than three quarters of the value of UK retail spending. For retailers, the cost of accepting cards is just another cost of doing business, such as staff, stock, or energy costs. But as more of us use cards to pay for things we buy, we expect those costs to be cheaper as the costs are spread across more businesses and more transactions. Instead, we have seen card companies increasing the fees that businesses must pay. And in 2017, UK retailers paid around £1 billion to accept card payments. As a customer, you never pay these charges directly, but indirectly in higher prices for the things we buy. And sometimes these excessive fees can see businesses struggle to keep afloat. Card fees and charges, as they apply today, are unnecessarily complex, hindering both transparency and competition. First of all, there's the range of fees. Merchants pay a merchant service charge to accept cards, which is made up of the interchange fee, which goes to the card issuer, that's the customer's bank, acquirer fees, which go to the card acquirer, that's the business's bank, and scheme fees, which have risen dramatically in recent years, they go to the card schemes that sit in the middle, such as Visa or MasterCard. But not all card schemes are treated the same. Companies like Visa and MasterCard that issue cards via banks are known as four-party schemes. Companies like American Express that issue cards directly to consumers are known as three-party schemes. Then there's the kind of card that people use. Debit cards, credit cards, or prepaid cards, and some companies may provide their staff with commercial cards which can cost more for retailers and other merchants to process. Where these cards are issued to consumers also makes a big difference to transaction costs. A UK business receiving payment from a UK-based customer is considered a domestic transaction. However, if that card was issued by a bank in the EU, it's an intra-regional transaction. And if a UK retailer or other merchant receives payment from a card issued in Brazil, Canada or anywhere else outside the EU, then this is an inter-regional transaction. The fees paid by merchants also vary in the way they're applied. Many will pay a flat fee for every transaction they make. This is in addition to fees levied as a percentage of the value of the transaction. And different rates are charged to businesses depending on the channel by which they receive payment from their customers, be it a card present transaction through the likes of contactless or chip and pin, or a card not present transaction, perhaps taken online or over the phone. And there's many other categories that further impact the costs that retailers pay for accepting cards, including the size of their business, the sector they operate in, and the commercial agreement they're able to negotiate with their card acquirer. All this complexity has been generated by card companies to exploit their powerful position over other businesses. And unfortunately, the rules that government and regulators have devised to deal with this problem have added to its complexity. The interchange fee is a key tool for addressing excessive card fees, but due to lobbying from the card industry, it has many carve-outs and loopholes, leaving out acquirer fees and scheme fees. It replaced monetary caps that used to apply per transaction, meaning that some businesses actually pay more now than before when selling high value products and services. The regulation does not apply to three-party schemes, commercial cards and cards issued outside the EU. Then there's the European Commission deal recently agreed with Visa and Mastercard on cards issued outside of the EU. It'll come into effect by October 2019 and apply for five and a half years reducing inter-regional card costs by at least 40%. The deal only applies to interchange fees and it draws a new distinction and layer of complexity by capping card present transactions at the same level as the interchange fee regulation. However, card not present transactions are much more costly for businesses to accept, whilst the deal excludes scheme fees, acquirer fees, three-party schemes, commercial cards, and per transaction costs. Government must simplify card regulation to tackle the extensive carve-outs, to address unnecessary complexity in the market, and to protect businesses and consumers from abuse by card companies. This can be achieved by extending the scope of the current interchange fee regulation to cover the full range of card types, fee types and transaction types. Retailers and other merchants treat all cards the same, irrespective of where they're issued. The fees associated with all cards should reflect that, ultimately ensuring a better deal for us all as consumers.